welcome to another vlog. This Tasmania instalment takes us from Hamilton in the Midlands to Wilderness en route to Stanley. Join Ollie, Wayne and Scott on our adventures and see where Harvey takes us this time. We decided to take a wander around the township of Hamilton. We were blown away with the beautiful sandstone cottages that now are used as a thriving Airbnb business. So you had Emma, Edward, George. With keys at your house, it must be one place to get the keys for all of them. Stunning. <laughs> We arrive at the Amazing Wood Carvings Gallery by the self-taught artist Greg Duncan. This magnificent space houses over 100 metres of spectacular panels of Australiana. Unfortunately, no photos of wood video could be taken in the gallery, but take our word, it's definitely well worth a visit. Hey guys, so we're about two thirds of the way to Queenstown or Strawn. I think we're about 150 odd k's from Hobart, about 80 or 100 k's to go to get the other way. But for an overnight stay, we've come here to the Wilderness Hotel at Derwent Bridge. That's quite a popular little spot and they allow free camping overnight in their car park so long as you frequent the hotel and use goods or services so buy a counter meal have a beer you know it's not that hard um, but yeah we got here about one and we were probably only the second RV here and now a few more have all popped in we did obligatory call in and just check with the publican over the counter which was the best place to maneuver ourselves so we weren't in the way but yeah just check this out so we're over there in the corner and then they're inside in the ram having the lunch they've unhitched and left for the minute and then you've got another uh, motorhome there she's an oldie worldy pub she has lots of um lots of wood shall we say um very country but we're looking forward to going in and having a count a counter meal tonight but there's still a few spots here as you can tell but anyway it's getting a bit chilly apparently it's going to be five degrees overnight okay. talk to you later bye we take the opportunity to take ollie for a well-earned walk to the derwent bridge the water was tempting for him to jump in but it's nothing worse than a wet dog smelling harvey The next morning, we rejoin the A10. It's wet and a very windy road, but the forest soon clears and suddenly we're traversing the magnificent Lake Bunbury. We weave between it and the majestic mountains until we come across a little outlook for Queenstown. So I've just come through those mountains on a lovely, very windy road. And there's the honey going out of the car. We've still got to go down that road. It's a bit misty and wet this morning. 
but we're on the road early this morning. We're on the road eight o'clock. Yeah, very early. Which was good because we haven't got a lot of traffic to deal with. Haven't had to pull over too many times. Yeah. But it's damp, it's misty. Just take it nice and slow. Definitely. We arrive in Strawn early afternoon and decide to take Ollie for a walk and look at this beautiful town. So hey guys, this is Strawn. We took a three hour drive. Google Maps told us it was two, but you know, we can only do a limited amount of speed when the roads are wet and narrow and windy and harvey. So we did a leisurely 70 kilometers instead of the signpost of 100. So it took us three hours to get here to Strawn, but it's a picturesque, Bayside town, very colonial. Lots of little pubs and eateries. There's a beautiful Gordon River cruises here. They've come back from their lunch cruise and they're preparing for their evening cruise. The chefs have just been filling up the food in the back. But yeah, we've gone for a lovely walk. It's a, it's a 17 yeah, it's degrees. A bit windy. Starting to get a little bit of Bayside breeze. Yep. But it's not too bad. We're enjoying it. We've parked ourselves up at the golf club. Um, it's an honesty box situation, $10 a night. Uh, it's a great spot. Great spot, nice, quiet, flat, and plenty of sun for the solar panel. Yep. Just no amenities, but that's what you have when you're in a self-contained vehicle like Harvey. Definitely. Anyway, we're gonna continue to join our, enjoy our afternoon, and we'll see what else we can find around Strawn, but so far, totally impressed we got we filled out of all our consumables we had our LPG filled we got diesel got we filled out water we went grocery shopping so we're back full to the brim good to go see you soon bye so I thought I'd just give you a, a quick idea of where we're at which is the Strawn Golf Club so you probably see over my shoulder someone's teeing off I think they were anyway but yeah we've taken this little posse just here and since we've got here there's been quite a few more people turn up so you can park out the back of strong golf club it's an honesty system of ten dollars a pop and there is uh, also a dump site down the road but not even 500 meters and there's also tap water at the golf clubhouse uh, or tin shed, uh, which strictly says for filling up your freshwater tanks, not for any other purpose. So at least there's fresh water and there's a dump station and this nice, quiet, peaceful area. And it's always better when there's lots of people here. You know, you, it's, you feel more safe when you actually got people around you. Anyway, it's getting chilly and I've got to start making soup. So I should get onto it. Hey guys, so we are striving to look for low cost or free camping on our second half of this Tasmanian tour. And today we've lobbed up here at the Roseberry Golf Course. Again, it's an honesty system. So it's $10. 10 bucks, yep. Um, you just fill in a form and put it in an envelope and put it through the little slot on their door, so to speak. Yep. Um, but yeah, uh, there's another guy we think next to us is a caravan, but they've told it off, they've unhitched and left for the minute. So look at this behind us. Roseberry apparently is Australia's steepest golf course. Apparently that's their claim to fame. Mm. Let's just check this out. So this is our view. So apparently we're on the ninth 
tee, I think they said, because it says you reverse in the golf into the car park near the ninth tee. But yes, so buckets of sand there. That's the clubhouse. <laughs> but yeah, don't know where the situation of all the runs or the tees are. But look at that, that's a nice steep hill if I ever saw one for a golf course. So I reckon it'll be a bit of a workout. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. <laughs> Playing golf here. Yeah, sure would be. Nice little pond in the centre. Mm, nice little water trap here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But yeah, peaceful. Nice, nice and sunny today too. Peaceful, quiet, sunny. Yep. Oh, sorry. So that's and that's the entrance, so coming in on the right, on the left is going out. And excuse the towels on Harvey's wing mirrors. But yeah, check this out, what a sight. Anyway, it's nearly time for lunch, so I'm going to head inside and see what I can knock together. Well, good morning from Rosebury Golf Course. As you can tell, it's very foggy. We had a couple of neighbours here. And it was really nice last night. We all sat around their open fire in their fire pit. Had a good old chat. But yep, I've woken up, had a fantastic sleep. And it's time to have breakfast and then get on the road because today we're heading to Stanley. Hopefully to see the nut, the famous nut. Anyway, check that out one more time. Time to get on the road. We turn Harvey north on the Murchison Highway through the Deep Gully Forest Reserve and it's not long till we stop again. <laughs> Haven't seen one of those signs since the 80s. We've stopped at Hellier Gorge. Just thought we'd take a quick walk up our journey to Stanley. Wow. Wow, look at all these tree ferns. So that was a 10 minute easy walk, a little bit slippery on the palm fronds and the mud. But as you can see that's the road that we've been driving down and we've basically done a big semicircle along the creek back to the road. So we've got there's a small waterfall there. Hey Bubby. Okay, time to head back. Get back on the road. But isn't this just gorgeous and green? What do you reckon, honey? Yeah, beautiful. Just crazy tree ferns and <laughs> just greenery and water and sunshine. Yeah, very good. Anyway, we'll keep walking. Let's go. Make our way back to Harvey and get on the road. Yep. We continue to push our way through the varied national parks. We find the coast again and continue our journey. Well, that's us signing off for this edition. See you next time. 
And as always guys, please click and subscribe, it really does help.